What's up? On Armor 26, I'm here to give you my Chikorosaurus Rex King of Show live review. Uh, I went to the show Sunday afternoon, and it is already out on DVD. Um, I'm going to try, because of the DVDs already out, I'm going to try not to give out any spoilers in this review. Um, basically, because I know a lot of people are trying to avoid them, for the reason being that it is already on DVD, and they want to experience it like they were there live. But I was actually there live, and I had the honor. Uh, and overall, i got to say, this was probably the most fun show I've ever been to. Um... I mean, the Ring of Honor shows I, I went to can't compare. Um, both the WWE shows I went to can't compare. Dragon Gate the night before. I mean, that that was probably... If this isn't first, that that was. But it's going to be a close overall show. But uh, that pay-per-view was not going to be better than this uh, overall show. Um, and there there was a lot of good on it. There was a lot of... There was a, some great on it as well. And even, I think, one match got to the amazing level, in my opinion. Um... All right, let's just get run, run, run it right down. Um, the first match was an eight-man tag. Uh, the BDK team of Tim Dons, Pinky Sanchez, Lince Dorado, and Torse is taking on the team of the Colony, Fire Ant, Soldier Ant, and Green Ant, and teaming with Frightmare. Um, this was a very, very good opener. Uh, just your typical opener. It was a little spotty in parts, but just it was a very, very fun eight-man tag match. Everybody got to show their stuff. Everybody looked impressive. Uh, a couple of very uh, innovative spots you can only do in eight mans and six mans and stuff like that, and they kind of used that to their advantage in this match. And just the, just being there live, seeing the BDK gimmick is just amazing. Everybody's doing a great job, from Jacob Emmermeyer to uh, just Tursus. Just is he um, DVD does not do him any justice. He is huge. Um, but overall, this match was very good. Um, but what's the great level? I don't think so, but it was very good. Then we got to the surprise match the night before, um, from the night, uh, I mean, they announced on their Facebook they were going to have a seventh match. My prediction was Shingo and Yamato versus The Future Is Now, but I'm figuring maybe Ricochet, who is also Helios, got, uh, maybe injured the night before, but based off of his double backflip off the top rope where he kind of landed on his neck. Uh, so basically they made it a singles version of Shingo versus, uh, Jimmy Equinox Olsen. This is a very, very stiff match, but it was very, very good as well. Um, this is probably actually the worst match of the night, to be honest with you. And it was good. Uh, if that tells you anything about this show. Uh, it was given the least time of any match on the show, but it was noticeably good. Jimmy Olsen does work a very kind of a stiff style for Chikara, especially for the future is now. And Shingo is a good guy to put him in there with, and Shingo did look very, very strong. And both these guys got a lot of offense in it. It was a very, very good match. Uh, it was a little step down from the eight man, but it was, it was good at the very least. Um. Then we had Tommy Dreamer. Uh, actually, no, first we had Eddie Kingston come out, and he was he's the guy who inducted Tommy Dreamer into the ECW Hall of Fame. Uh, that was just very, very cool to be there live for. Um, hopefully they put the, the, this in its entirety on the DVD. Uh, it was just very, very cool to be there for something like that. When it's only been done like 12 times ever before. I don't even think less than that. Maybe like this is the, I think this is might, might be the 12th time or 11th time that it's been done. And a lot they're doing a lot more recently, so. Very, very cool to see a guy who is instrumental in the, in the ECW and Tommy Dreamer uh, being inducted into the basic, basically the ECW Hall of Fame, but it's the Arena Hardcore Hall of Fame, so there's that. Then we got to the um, BDK team of C uh, Sarah Del Rey and Daisy Hayes versus the reuniting team of Amazing Kong and Raisha Saeed. Kind of, uh, they play off the fact that they were in TNA together, but Raisha Saeed is cheerleader Melissa, so it's very cool to see four of the best women, especially in the U.S., maybe even the world, in the same ring together. Um, I'm a big fan of Amazing Kong, Cheerleader Melissa. Maybe not the right you should say gimmick because she can't show all of her offense, but this is, this is, she looks good here as well. Uh, I'm a big fan of Daisy Hayes, and her her strength definitely gr has grown. Daisy Hayes is not that big of a girl. And what, some of the stuff she was doing in this match was insane. Uh, and for those of you who have seen the spoilers, I don't want to ruin anything, and I'm trying not to, but... I became a big fan of Daisy Hayes out of this match. I was already a huge fan of Del Rey and Kong and Chili and Melissa, but Daisy Hayes is right up there with them now, just after seeing this match. This was very good, especially for a women's match. In Chakara, this was very good. Um, and this was given time, too. Uh, not as much time as it probably could have gone, but with everything else on the card, it was understandable. Then we got to the first of the two six-man tags involving Dragon Gate. Uh, the team of Shima, Masaki Mochizuki, and Super Shenlong, who is a kind of a rookie in Dragon Gate. He, he, he's kind of a young guy. Uh, he's been a pro about two years. Uh, if He's been in Dragon Gate at least two years. Um, he, he was the replacement for Dragon Kid um, against Team Fist of Gran Akuma, Icarus, and Chuck Taylor. Um, wow. 
this match was great. The, uh, showed Fist as a team perfectly. Uh, got the Super Shen long enough to show why he deserves to be in this match. He, he did. Mochizuki was kicking the crap out of people. Just, I loved it. Uh, and Shima was basic Shima, just being his great, uh, all-around great wrestler self. He's, he showed why he's the ace of Dragon Gate in this match. Uh, and probably the most recognizable Dragon Gate star as well. He, he looked great here. And we did have involvement from Johnny Gargano, and those who haven't, who don't know already, um, I don't want to spoil what happens, but Gargano does get involved at some point, so there's that. Then we got intermission where we heard, uh, we got two, uh, they were announcing they were going to do two big announcements. One of them was the DVD was already out, which you guys have heard about, and then we got the other one. Um, I'm going to release this spoiler because Zardy is on Chikara's website, but... For the first time, Manami Toyota, they were giving this out at the live show, is going to be in the U.S. And then they showed the whole video package of her, and it said at the end, uh, making her debut September 2010. I'm going to be at her U.S. debut in Baltimore. Oh my, I already, already had bought my ticket. I was, oh my god, I was so happy when I saw that. I'm going to see the greatest women's professional wrestler of all time live in her first ever U.S appearance match, I think, or maybe even the first non-Japanese. Just, oh my god, I'm just so stoked for that show now. Just, I don't even care what the rest of the show is. Manami effing Toyota is gonna be there, oh my god. Just, oh my god. I I'm just so stoked. How'd you car pull this off? I have no idea, but I am so glad they did. Um, I bet you a lot of you were with me on this. That is just absolutely amazing. Then we got to a six-man tag team match, uh, which kind of is a grudge match. Uh, the team of Amasis and Ophidian of the Osirian Portal teaming with Drake Younger take on the unstable team of Vin Gerard, Stigma, and Colin Delaney. This is this probably is the best unstable match of all time. Uh, everyone, they they they're all they all looked. Everybody in this match just looked great here. This match is probably going to reach that great level. This was just. Yeah, it showed that the unstable actually can work. Stigma looked great. Delaney did a lot of his good stuff. Uh, showed that he could have made it in the WWE if they had given him the chance. And Vin Gerard has improved vastly since he was Equinox. But he he definitely showed it here. Drake Younger, he, he was so much better here than he was the night before because he had to do a lot of his brawling stuff. Got, um, and the uh, the portal has improved even since their Campeonas de Parejas reign. They have improved and, and, and they are a very, very good tag team. Um, overall, this probably was this is going to be a great match on DVD. A lot of you probably were expecting this to maybe be the um, one of, one of the matches that might have pulled this card down. Definitely didn't at all. Then we got to the BDK team of the Campeones de Parejas, Aris and Claudio Castagnoli versus the team of Eddie Kingston and Tommy Dreamer. Um, Dreamer's first match in the East W Arena since um, I think it was '06. Maybe a WWE have show in '06. I think it was there. I think it might be that. But um, I was kind of weary of what Tommy Dreamer was doing because I heard he was injured at the TNA tapings, but this was a lot better than I, what even I expected. This was good. Probably isn't going to reach that great level, but this was very, very good. Um, Dreamer definitely had the support of the crowd here. Kingston uh, Kingston is just so great. I, I, I love Eddie Kingston. And then we got to see Derek Zabato, who is very good at what he does. and just uh, Kingston and Zabato's interactions are just phenomenal. They're, Zabato is great at what he does as well. And Aris and Castagnoli are very, very good tag team champions. I like both of them, especially Claudio. I'm a big, big, big fan of Claudio. This is, so this is going to be very good. Then we got to the main event, which I was hoping was going to be the main event, and it was the World 1 team of Naruki Doi, Masati Yoshino, and Baby Hulk versus the Chikara team of Mike Quackenbush, Jigs on Hallow Wicked. I'm going to say by a hair, barely, this is going to be the best match in Chikara history. Before this, I was going to say it was going to be the four-way at King of Trios last year with Ibushi, Generico, Jigsaw, and uh, Nick Jackson, or who uh, is in TNA now as a part of Generation Me. But I just think that this match was kind of had the same flow to it, but the parts that weren't weren't nonstop balls to the wall action were slow and methodical and actually had a purpose behind them when in the other match they really didn't. Uh, so I, I loved this match. It was amazing. Um... Man, everybody looked great in that match. Uh, just overall, this show it was a this, this was I'm gonna say it was amazing. Just you're gonna if you have any doubts about buying this DVD, you shouldn't. I mean, just go out and pick this up if you haven't already. Um, hopefully, I didn't give out any spoilers. Um, I don't think I did. If I the one I gave out was Manami F and Toyota. What a pickup! See you guys later.